Hello, I'm spending my Wednesday evening by watching famous people talk about their kids and pregnancies on the Ellen DeGeneres show. <laughs> Good morning. It's so quiet here. It makes me want to like talk quietly. I'm on Pullen's Lane right now, which is the cute little street where you have to walk to get to the EF school. And it's nice here. It's weird to have so much nature in the middle of the city. I don't know if I told you, but my dad and grandma are here for the weekend. And I haven't really been feeling like vlogging this week for some reason. But to make up for it, I'm gonna have like a little clip of chatting. <laughs> showed you um, is this my best friend Emma made me these envelopes there's one for each week we're not seeing each other because she's in Australia now and I'm here in the UK um, so we have to miss each other for a really long time so she made me um, like an envelope for each week and there's a song in there with like a memory of us and it's so cute every Monday I open one of these and they're adorable and I miss her So as you might have noticed, this week I didn't really feel like vlogging for some reason, I really don't know why, but I decided not to force it upon myself and just leave it at this, the thing you've just seen, I don't even know how long it is. Um, but instead, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, school, because I got a question a couple weeks ago, um, what I do exactly in school here, so I thought that might be a fun thing to talk about. I'm at EF Oxford campus, it's called EF International Language Center. I will put a link in the description of a tour of the school if you want to see that, because they recently uh, posted a video of that and it looks really cool, so if you want to see that, you can click the link below. Um, but yeah, it's the one but biggest uh, campus EF has in the world, so that's pretty cool, the biggest ones in New York. And there's about 800 people here, I think, and they've divided everyone into levels. So you have the um, CEFR, I think it's Central European Framework, but it could be something completely different. But that's like a system to categorize people into levels. So you have the uh, lowest level is A1, then you have A2, which is both beginner, B1, B2 is intermediate, and then C1, C2 is proficiency. There's a 1 on my other hand. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, A1 is the lowest, C2 is the highest, and then every one of those levels, they've divided them up into three different classes. So you have 
uh, I started in C1, 2, for example. So you're C1 and then the middle one. And I ended in C2, 3. So most of your classes are in that level, it's called general English. And um, you do all kinds of stuff, like you watch documentaries and talk about them, you have debates, you do some vocabulary exercises, and we used to play like a lot of games and then they would help us to learn a particular skill. So now, it's pretty interesting and, and fun actually. I think the classes are pretty fun, or were pretty fun, I've changed classes now. So every six weeks you make a progress test and um, according to your results you either go a level up or you stay in the same level but mostly you move a level up. Um, I moved a bit faster because I wasn't in the right level in the beginning and then some weird stuff happened. Anyway, um, yeah, so I ended in the last level, like the highest level, C23. And after that I went to a CPE class. And that um, CPE is an exam, Cambridge exam. Um, Cambridge has different uh, exams, I think three or four different levels. And that's like internationally acknowledged, kind of. Um, so if you do that exam, you can put that on your CV and then that looks pretty good. I already did CAE, which is Cambridge Advanced Exam in high school. So now I'm doing CPE, which is Cambridge Proficiency Exam, and that's the highest level. Um, so yeah, I'm in a class now that uh, prepares for that, so we just make loads of exams and stuff in class, so it's a good preparation. I'm going to do that exam in March. Um, so that's now what I do instead of general English, and that those classes take up most of the classes of my week. I have 16 classes, and 9 of those are um, either general English or my CPE class now. And then... Um, there is spin classes, there are spin classes, uh, that's special interest classes, and um, th those are things like vocabulary, grammar, but there's also international affairs where you talk a lot about different cultures and issues and stuff. Um, I was in cross-cultural communication, there was business English, I think, public speaking, all kinds of different stuff, it's not that interesting. Um, but the one I'm in now is film studies. That's pretty fun. I have two of those a week and then two vocabulary classes, but I haven't gone to those since Christmas break because I don't like them. <laughs> so, because you have to have 80% um, attendance in the end and then you can receive your certificate. So my attendance is like 96%, so it really doesn't matter if I go or not now because I only have three more weeks left. So yeah, I decided to just skip those classes and sleep instead <laughs> they don't really care if you do that because obviously you pay to be here so it's not like they're gonna kill you for not coming to class <laughs> it's kind of your own choice so um but you want the 80 percent because otherwise you won't get a certificate and you've done it all for nothing um so you have special interest classes that's for a week and then there's two ilabs which is um, basically sitting in a computer room and watching series because it makes no sense. Those classes are absolutely stupid. They want you to do stuff like interesting, good stuff. No one actually does that. <laughs> Most people just sit there and watch their series or a movie or something like that. So I have two of those and then there's a lecture and that's um, every week it's a different teacher and they talk about a topic of their choice. So that's sometimes about British traditions, there's been one about Harry Potter, sometimes history, um, all kinds of different shit, basically. And yeah, that's kind of it. And all classes are one hour and 20 minutes. I like the classes a lot more than I did in high school because it's so interactive. There's a maximum of 16 people in a class, but my class now has only 10 people, I think. And it's so nice because you really have conversations and everyone knows each other. They also say that they don't um, like giving you homework because they believe in the fact that you learn English the best when you put it in practice. So not by writing stuff and doing exercises. Obviously that helps too, but they want you to like go outside and talk to people and stuff like that. So that's the way you learn it the quickest, I think. So we don't really get homework. Now in my CPE class, I don't get homework at all. But in my general English class, sometimes I have to like make an exercise or write an essay or stuff. 
but it's not, I don't spend a lot of time on that. Also, something really cool has been happening. I've been like recognized by three different people who I had never met before, who like came to me and were like, oh, you're that girl from YouTube. And I'm like, yeah. And then they're like, you're so awesome. And that's so cool. Because basically I make these videos because before I went here, I, w I was looking for videos like these. I wanted to, um, see vlogs of people who actually lived at an EF campus or were studying at EF. Not just people who were talking about their experience, but people who actually showed their life there, like vlogs. I couldn't find any of those, like none, so I decided to do it myself because hopefully that helps people. So now there's been three people who came to me and they recognized me, which is really strange. And that's obviously because they're here and they were looking for videos like these too. So that's why they recognized me. But it's just so surreal and kind of awesome. <laughs> I only have three more weeks left here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be going home in three weeks. Kind of excited for that, to be honest. But I'm also gonna miss it here. I'm gonna miss my friends and this city. Oh my God, I fell in, I've fallen in love with this city, honestly. Oh, I'm gonna film a tour of the city this weekend with like all my favorite spots, so that's gonna be exciting. Anyway, I've been rambling on for like 10 minutes, so thank you for watching um, if you've come to the end of this ramble. <laughs> and I will see you next week or the week after or sometime, either with a tour of the city or with another vlog. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!